Hey guys, welcome to my channel! This is a Twin Flames Collective reading. Happy Friday, welcome. How are you today, my Divine Feminine cohorts, my Divine Feminine friends? I also am what you call Divine Feminine. And my Twin Flame, who is a woman, is what you call Divine Masculine. However, in case you didn't notice, I'm not very feminine. And if you ever got the chance to meet my Twin Flame in person, you would not think she was very masculine. So what's up with that? How can I be Divine Feminine and vice versa with her? Well, it's because this doesn't really work on biological gender. It doesn't really work that way. Although, the gender labels aren't really a bad thing. They're simply pointing you at something deeper, a deeper underlying concept. And that deeper underlying concept is called duality, right? Like yin yang, alpha omega, good, bad, light, dark, plus, minus, Right? Duality. That's what that's all about. That's where that came from. Now, as the world's leading twin flame coach, that's what seems to be going on, right? 4,000 students. I think it's 5,000 students. Yeah, I'm going to do an official count this weekend. It just it takes so long. Last time I did one, it was 4178 or something like that. Uh, students that I've coached, but it took me like all afternoon because I have to dig up old, you know, I, I know there's a better way to do it. <laughs> I have to dig up old records, right? And I don't even keep people's information other than an email address. And that's basically how I'm able to keep track. Uh, but I digress. Uh, 4, 000, probably 5,000 students that I've coached to date. Now, my approach to Twin Flames is scientific. It's scientific. Right? So, what does that mean? Well, I don't reinvent the wheel. You are body, mind, soul. You and your Twin Flame are supposed to be the same soul, and it's true. So what is that? What's, what's going on here? What's that all about? How, how does that work? Right? We, we are supposed to be one soul in two bodies, right? We're one soul in two bodies. How does that work? What does that do? Well, it's very simple. Very, very simple. The mind is duality, right? I draw my teachings from ancient Zen spiritualism, not the ancient twin flame teaching. That's when you really understand what twin flames really is, you look at even the notion that there is an ancient twin flame teaching uh, with a lot of laughter, right? It's kind of silly to say that because the thing is, is your twin flame is your soul. That's all this really is. So it's really ancient Zen spiritualism. That's really all that's going on here. Um, so you, you just get back to basics is all you're really doing, right? You get back to basics. You don't reinvent the wheel. That's why I've been able to help so many people, thousands of people. I've caused more unions than anybody else. So what's up with that? What's up with that? What's up with the structure? What's up with the science, body, mind, soul? Well, the mind is duality, right? Now, this explains why your twin flame runs from you. And this is what I noticed a long time ago with my twin flame. Because when I would focus on her mentally, emotionally, or metaphysically, she would run harder. And then one day, it, it dawned on me, wait a minute. <laughs> the mind is duality, right? I've, I've been a student of Zen for a long time. And so when I met my twin flame, I just it all just kind of made sense to me after I had a few back and forth episodes with her, right? And every time I would have like a deeper spiritual breakthrough, every time I would feel a deeper sense of what they call satori or samadhi, uh, to be more astute, 
It's a deeper Zen experience. And what's, what's happening is it's not that you're going somewhere. It's that the ego mind backs away and the ego mind is duality. Okay, and you're supposed to be the same soul as this person. So when I have a soul experience, which again is called samadhi, it's that deeper experience of soul, of being, that's when she would come back. So necessarily, I'm not focusing on her mentally, emotionally, or metaphysically, and I'm going within, having a deeper soul experience, that's when this person who is supposed to be my soul shows up. Wait a minute, I get it. We're supposed to be the same soul, right? Okay, I get it. You see, do you, do you guys understand what I'm saying? The mind is duality. And that's where that terminology came from. Divine masculine, divine feminine, DMDF, duality. So you are polarized with your twin flame. Everybody says, well, your twin flame is your biggest mirror. Well, yes, but it's, it's a perfect mirror. Right? It's an exact mirror. It's like right down the middle type of mirror. Okay? So it's, it's exactly the opposite in every single way. It's exactly the opposite in every single way. It's exactly the opposite in every single way. The harder you focus on them through the mind, the harder they're going to focus on anything but you. It's energetic. The narrative doesn't matter. The story with your twin flame, it just doesn't matter, guys. You are them. You have to look at this scientifically. You have to look at it from the standpoint of infrastructure. You are your twin flame. And at the level of the mind, you are exactly duality, exactly opposites, exactly polarized. The mind is duality. Again, this is an ancient Zen spiritual teaching. And by the way, they even explain it in very similar terms in the discipline called psychology. The mind is duality. Good, bad. I like it. I don't like it. Right, wrong. Right? All that kind of stuff. So you just look at it energetically. That's why your twin flame is running. It's because you're too focused on them. And again, like I always say, you guys, the only reason that I'm doing these uh, tarot readings, honestly, is because you guys are watching them. Naughty, naughty. Now, I do get you onto this channel with the tarot reading, and I was doing it too. I'm not criticizing. I used to sit around and watch Twin Flame tarot readings all day, and then I figured out, wait, that's why my Twin Flame is running? Yeah, it's because you're too focused on them. So now that you're on my channel, now that you're here, now that I've attracted you like the Pied Piper using my beautiful, lovely tarot reading, stop watching tarot readings. Go watch my free coaching videos. This is just a way to get you onto my channel. Stop watching tarot readings. They're bad for you guys. At the bottom of the deck. Ouch! It's death. And the poor kitty. I think the poor kitty died. Oh, the poor kitty cat. My twin flame loves this tarot deck because she loves kitty cats. She loves them little kitty cats. I like cats a lot too. I'm just allergic. But we love cats. Very, very much. So I got this, uh, it's called the Maricel Cat Tarot. So you'll notice uh, the cards are in English and French. I wonder if this is Canadian. No, nope, made in Italy. Oh, no, 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 I'm stupid. It's not French, it's Italian. English and Italian. Okay, well anyway, so death at the bottom of the deck, big changes. People are afraid of this card. I don't know why. All it's saying is changes are coming that are permanent and irreversible. Changes are coming that are permanent and irreversible. Something old is going away for good. For, for good, for good. Forever, forever, right? Right. Now, for your connecting energy with Mr. or Miss Divine Masculine, as the case may be, we've got the Seven of Cups. I got them options. I got things unfolding for me. This is a good thing for you because uh, it's not looking too good for Divine Masculine right now. In their personal life, that's only going to bring opportunity to you, my Divine Feminine friend. Doors are opening for you. Seven of Cups. You know, and a lot of people, they interpret this card. There's a lot of ways you can interpret that card. A lot of times, yes, it does mean confusion, confusion having too many choices. 
Um, but what you know, the thing about it's one of the most it's these two cards, Seven of Cups, Death, are two of the most misunderstood cards. Seven of Cups is only telling you that you there are choices. You can pick whichever one you want. There's good ones and there's bad ones. So pick the good one, right? It's okay that there's a lot of choices. Again, it can mean confusion. You would have to consider both the question and the other cards in the spread. This time, it's a good thing. It's just options. So Divine Masculine, right here, we got the tower. Guys, for these cards to come out in the same reading, what a happy time for Divine Masculine right now. Death and the Tower. <laughs> Yeah, it's been a little rough for Divine Masculine lately. Well, anyway, we got the tower right there for you. Recent past for Divine Masculine in the subconscious. So this is actually fundamental, right? It's These are changes. These are changes that are shaping up for Divine Masculine internally. They're going to cause all of these external changes, their whole entire world falling apart. Let's get into the details. Let's get into the sticks. What is falling apart and why? Well, not the least of which, their sense of self-security. And they're just not interested in security in that situation. Well, good. So four of cups in reverse, which is like doubling down on that four of cups energy. And then it's coming out next to the three of pentacles. Bingo. So divine masculine, Just I'm just not interested. I'm just not interested in this existing situation. Um, and because they're not interested in it, it is not interested in them either. And there's always this fucking resistance um, coming up from the rear with Divine Masculine. So we're gonna have to rip the Band-Aid off. That's why, <laughs> that's why the tower is coming out in their subconscious. That shit's gonna sting, but it's gonna turn out really well for Divine Masculine actually. And I think it's gonna bring you and them closer together. Now, why is that happening? Because you are them. You are your twin flame. You are not in separation. There is no separation. You are union. Union is what you are. The question is, what is you? What is that, right? So this is, again, as always, welcome to my channel. This is this deeply energetic work that you're doing, transcending the ego personality, aligning with your soul, which is your twin flame right? You're not your mind. And I know that's making sense to you because you're feeling very different, aren't you, Divine Feminine? Look at this. Okay, so right off the bat, five of pentacles in the subconscious. Yeah, we get that. Dark night of the soul. This is recent past, by the way, for you, Divine Feminine. Five of pentacles, dark night of the soul. In ancient Zen spiritualism, they call that ego death. Ego death, right? Ego death, the ego melting away, dying, right? That's what that is. Okay, so what about this? What about in the 3D? Yeah, two of cups in reverse next to the star. That's an interesting combination. So the ego is looking at that going, it didn't work out. Oh, well, what am I going to do? This, Guys, this is your rebirth. This is your rebirth. This is your spiritual awakening. That is exactly what this card is. The star. This is the big rebirth after the big spiritual meltdown, the, the shakeup, the transformation. This card actually comes out after the tower. It's interesting that this tower card comes out in Divine Masculine subconscious in the recent past, and you get the star. But guys, that's all this is. This is your spiritual awakening. This is known what this is. What you're going through, Divine Feminine, all of you guys watching, this is known. This is not a mystery. Now, if you get on the internet, you're going to see a whole bunch of romanticized stuff. And I'm not saying romance is bad with your twin flame, but it's that focus on that. It's making that the centerpiece of what this journey is that is actually causing your twin flame to run away from you. That's why um, I'm the leading twin flame coach, right? That's why, that's how I ended up here, right? And the, no, I'm the number one guy. That's what everybody says anyway. So how did I get here? Well, guys, I figured out that your twin flame is your soul. Everybody says that. I figured out that that part is at least true, but the approach that I take is different. My core teaching is very, very different from what everybody else is saying. You take all of your mental, emotional, and, phys and metaphysical focus off of the physical twin flame person and go within. And that's when they come back to you. It's a paradox. It works like the opposite of the way that people think it should. Okay, so the chariot in reverse next to the king of cups. Uh, right, so divine masculine. Um, 
I'm just not in my, emotionally invested in this situation at all, right? Um, it's been very, very painful, and I want to pull away. And uh, I feel good about that, but this is like this emotional hangover, right? There's going to be a lot of truth-telling, too. That's why that Queen of Swords comes out. I feel like Divine Masculine, it's going to get worse before it gets better with this chariot that's coming out in the reverse like that. It's going to get worse before it gets before it gets better. And, I mean, the suffering, Divine Masculine, what they're having to go through right now is going to increase to a fever pitch. A fever pitch. Oh, my God, Divine Masculine. How do you... How do you do it? How do they cope? I don't know. I don't think they are coping. I'm pretty sure Divine Masculine is experiencing the worst pain of their whole entire life, right? Now, again, like I always caution you guys, if you're looking on their social media and everything on their social media is how great everything is and everything's rosy. Guys, everybody does that on social media. Look at how great my life is. I call it shit posting, right? It's not. It's a fucking lie, guys. Whatever it is, the relationship is falling apart. It's their career, you know, whatever, whatever the karmic situation is with your divine masculine. That shit is on the way out, guys, and it's not going away in a very orderly, pretty fashion. It's not a graceful exit. It's a fucking in-your-face tower moment. And of course, they're going to hide that. Of course, they're not going to be talking about it, guys. People don't do that. People hide all the. I mean, when I was going through my dark night of the soul, I worked at a bank. And people would be like, they could tell something was up, but it's a professional atmosphere and you got to act professionally and shit, right? And they would go, Kurt, you seem a little down. Are you okay? And I'd be like, yeah, everything is great, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing awesome. Yeah. You know, and I'd, I'd like grin and you know you know what i mean like you fucking they do that too guys you're divine masculine fuck fuck what they're doing on social media fuck that shit now again why is this happening guys it's because they are you you are union there is no separation separation is in your mind the mind is called separation consciousness in ancient zen spiritualism the way i teach twin flames is not a twin flame teaching necessarily i'm teaching you a soul teaching. This is ancient Zen spiritualism, but your twin flame is your soul. That's why I'm the world's most successful twin flame coach. That's why I've been able to help so many people because I'm not reinventing the wheel. I figured out this is your soul's journey. You just do that and your twin flame comes back and they stay. That's all you have to do, guys. Now, there is like applying beingness, if you will, if that's the right word for it. Being, non-duality, the soul, right, acceptance, these, these types of teachings in, from ancient Zen spiritualism, applying it to, like, say, interactions with your twin flame. That's where I come in as a, quote-unquote, twin flame coach. But once you get the core of that, once you understand the core of ancient Zen spiritualism, you can just figure it out on your own. Like I said, I'm not reinventing the wheel, Right? There's no new agey stuff. There's no balancing your inner feminine and masculine. There's no healing. I'm not saying that stuff is bad, but that's not what this is, guys. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. This is ancient Zen spiritualism. That's all this is. Not the pop culture stuff on the internet. And, of course, you know, when was the last time you saw something on the internet that was incorrect? Because that never happens. Ha! <laughs> Yeah, right. Okay, Divine Feminine, Seven of Pentacles next to the Two of Wands. Exactly. So, whoa. Knocked my bell off the table. Wake up! Wake up, Divine Feminine. <laughs> no, but seriously, though, you are waking up. That's the whole thing, guys. That probably wasn't an accident that I did that. You are waking up. That's exactly what this is. This is your spiritual awakening, and you're just accepting that. You know that this is just the beginning of something for you. This is a new way of life. The old ways are dying. No, this is not a midlife crisis, okay? This is your spiritual awakening. And here's what I always tell people. Do you ever get the sense that there is something deeper going on that you're supposed to be doing other than your twin flame, the physical twin flame person? And almost all of you watching are going... 
Yes, and I can't put my finger on it. And what I would tell you is, no, you are putting your finger on it. It is that sense. You need to go there energetically. Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't know if any of you, if any of you understand what I'm saying right now, would you please articulate it better than I am in the comments section below? Right? I'm not a bad articulator, but sometimes I feel like I have to explain things five different ways. And maybe that is the only way to do that, but I don't know. If you can articulate that better, there's a sense that something deeper is going on than having to do with the physical twin flame person, right? That's what this seven of pentacles is telling you. Well, that very sense is what's going on. You're, I get the sense that something deeper is going on, but I cannot put my finger on it. Well, that which is asking what to put its finger on. I cannot put my finger on it. Right, that's the mind. That's the personality. That's the ego. I'm not saying that's bad, but that's what that is. That's that false self. It's the identity. It's the form, the thought-based reality of ego, right? I can't quite put my finger on it. Right, the thinker. That's not you who is thinking that. That's the ego. That's the personality. That is what you transcend. And to transcend, you go as deeply as you can energetically into that energy of sense that I speak of, the deeper sense that there's something else going on here. That sense is your soul. That sense is your twin flame. You got to go there. Does this make sense to you guys? Do you understand what I'm saying? Can you articulate it better than I can? in the comments section below. Guys, that's what this journey is. This is a journey of that deeper sense that I can point you at right now with my words, but I can't really tell you exactly what it is because it's not thought. I can't explain it. An explanation is a thought. Remember, body, mind, soul. The mind is thought. What I'm talking about is soul, and soul is deeper than thought, you guys. I can't really explain it, but... If you have that sense, then you know exactly what it is. You got to go there energetically, guys. That's how you get your twin flame back. That energy, that sense is your soul. Your twin flame is your soul. There, I just gave away the secret, right? How do I get my twin flame Kurt, or back, Kurt? That's it right there. It's that sense. That's your soul, guys. You got to go there and it's energetically. When I say you got to go there, and the mind starts going, oh, how do I do that? Please give me steps, instructions. Please tell me the actions to take. No, that's not it, guys. It's not a journey of the mind. You don't think your way there, right? The questioner is what is pushing your twin flame away, actually. That's what this is all about, guys. And the way that I'm describing this, any of you that are students of ancient Zen spiritualism, which is real, authentic spiritualism, not the new agey, woo-woo, flaky crap, on the internet, okay? Real spiritualism. Anybody watching that's a student of genuine, authentic, traditional Zen spiritualism, you know exactly what I'm talking about, okay? That's your twin flame. Your twin flame is that. Your twin flame is your soul. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. You don't need to clear your karma with your divine masculine. You don't need to heal your childhood wounds. You can do those things, but those things do not help you with your twin flame. And by the way, if you do those things, because you think you're going to get your twin flame back, if you do those things, they will run harder than they've ever ran before, guys. And that's how I got here as the world's leading twin flame coach. Ooh, because I'm not reinventing the wheel. It's ancient Zen spiritualism. That's it. That's all this is, guys. You are on an authentic spiritual awakening path, not the woo-woo hippie stuff on the internet. <laughs> You follow? You feel me? All right. Now, go sign up for some coaching. Go watch my free coaching videos. Do something, guys, please. And you can save 50 bucks right now if you sign up for my paid coaching. It's not thousands of dollars, guys. I don't charge thousands of dollars. Fuck that shit. Get that shit the fuck out of here. I'm not going to charge ripoff prices and then give you soulmate coaching, only I call it twin flame coaching. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to give you um twin flame coaching. And I'm not going to charge you ripoff prices. It's only a few hundred bucks. I even have payment plans, guys. I'll take the total package price and break it down into six easy to digest payments of 60 or $70. Now, if you do pay in full, it's only a few hundred dollars. 
And I do have a special going right now. If you pay in full, you can get $50 off. Just go to my website, go to the Twin Flame Coaching section, and click on pay in full packages. Boom, 50 bucks off, guys. That's all you gotta do right now. Sign up today. But if you still can't afford my already low prices, no problem. I've got those payment plans. Get the gold package, guys. Get the gold package. You get two months of the group coaching calls included with your original purchase. So you save $38. You almost get a whole month for free. You save $38 on uh, the live coaching and you get the videos, eight and a half hours of instructional videos you get to keep forever. You can watch them again and again. Um, I make you watch them twice before you get on the group calls because I really want you to get this, you guys. And you have to actually take actions in your daily life. I'll give you actionable things that you can do to make the necessary lifestyle changes to shift energetically into your soul. Remember that sense I was talking about earlier? That's what it's all about, you guys. That sense is your soul. It's not thought. It's deeper and it's hard to explain, isn't it? Right, because an explanation is a thought. The soul is not thought. It's consciousness. You can't explain it. You necessarily cannot explain it. All I can do is point you at it. Oh, it's nirvana. It's zen. It's being. It's inner peace. It's inner oneness you know, whatever. But un until you experience that for yourself, you're not going to know what I'm talking about. Now, everybody watching is probably on an authentic twin flame journey. And if that is true, then that means you've probably experienced those things. Why? Because your twin flame is your soul. So sign up today, guys, get on the group coaching calls. When you're done with the videos, there's 400 beautiful souls in the secret Facebook group, not my public New World All-Star Facebook group, but the private closed secret Facebook group for paying students. You can get in there. It's a community, 400 people, guys. You can connect to other people that are on this journey proper and they are attracting their twin flame back. Yes, it happens all the time. Go check out my testimonials on my website or on my YouTube channel. Twin flame success story videos all over my YouTube channel, guys. You gotta think, almost 5,000 students and I'm actually doing it right. I'm actually giving you authentic twin flame coaching. Yeah, guys, I've got a lot of students that are with their twin flame and I'm changing lives, guys, and I love doing it. I love doing it and I don't charge ripoff prices. It's like everything that you could have wanted, isn't it? It's actually great coaching. It's a great team. I've got two coaches assisting me. We are authentic and it's not expensive. You get everything under the sun. Guys, enchantment enchantment guys i love that card it's got a unicorn on it i like that i like it a lot let's read from the book enchantment archangel michael what's it gonna be enchantment here we go michael asks you to remember the magic of your life by connecting with the path of enchanted of the enchanted is magic missing from your life or are you aware of a lack of imagination in your creative purpose? Allow the divine joy of the child within you to reconnect with the free flow fun that was once present in your innocence. This is a doorway to the numinous. Num hmm. With this card, the unicorn's magical horn touches your soul with the love of its perspicacity. So, got some new words that I've never seen before. <laughs> Persip... Perspis... Perspicacity, perspicacity. I don't even know what that word is. Am I saying it right? Perspicacity. That's what it looks like. Anyway, compelling, eternal, and especially wise about the divine light within you. When it shines, the charisma of your soul magnetizes all people to you. Yeah, your twin flame too. By the way, we are repelling things that don't work for us anymore, aren't we, divine masculine? Whether you fucking want to or not. So we got the queen of swords in the subconscious. Remember, this, this death card, this is it, guys. This is the big one. This is the big change we've all been waiting for. We are ripping off the Band-Aid. We're going to take this ace of swords and shove it all the way up divine masculine's ass. Okay. Next to judgment. Yeah, that's going to hurt, guys. Divine masculine, they're going to be made to do this whether they want it or not. Now, when that happens... 
They're going to come crawling back. We got the Knight of Cups in the subconscious for you, my divine feminine friend, and the Four of Pentacles in reverse next to the Page of Cups. Bingo. Guys, bingo. Hello, divine masculine. You're not even phased when they come back, but are you going to say, yeah, probably. You're going to be like, all right, but not as triggered, not as needy, not as addictive, and that's exactly where you want to be, guys. That's how you get your twin flame to come back. That's so beautiful. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please give me a like. Also, please don't forget to hit the bell notification icon button when you subscribe. I'll be back tomorrow for Divine Masculine. Have a wonderful weekend, guys. Bye.